Well, the volunteers at the wreaths for the fallen ceremony had cold hands but warm hearts this year. With it being the 75th anniversary of U.S. involvement in World War II, the ceremony had an even deeper meaning this year. Our Logan Gay has more with this week's Community Spotlight. Never forget. That is a promise that the wreaths for the fallen volunteers make every year when they put thousands of wreaths on the graves of service members at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemetery. We will keep honoring them forever. It's a promise that is all too familiar to Holocaust and prisoner of war survivor Anja Olson. I had to go to a labor camp. The reason is I got to go to a labor camp. I was a swimmer for Germany and Hitler liked athletes. Every year she lays a wreath for her husband who is buried in the cemetery. My husband was in the Navy. He was in Pearl Harbor with his ship and uh, he passed away four years ago. This year she had the duty of representing the POWs and presenting them with a wreath. It's an honor to do that. I'm privileged to do that. Because four to five hundred more veterans are buried in the cemetery each year, the event gets bigger. This year they laid close to 5,000 wreaths and they had a special presentation in honor of the 75th anniversary of World War II. There's a young gentleman and he is, is actually in official World War II uniform from the museum and we were able to acquire an actual 48 star flag from back at World War II. For World War II veteran Harry Meyer, this was a time for him to reminisce and visit a few of his comrades in the cemetery. It's actually a refreshing memories of what it was and, and the comrade we had together and, and during the war and afterwards. And every year when a volunteer lays a wreath for a fallen soldier, they're not only saying happy holidays, they're saying thank you and we honor you. Quite a number of veterans that are interred out here and their families have gone away, their families have passed away and there is no family to honor them and that's what we do today. And through this simple act of kindness from surrounding communities, no soldier gets left behind for the holidays. In Little Falls, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.